Greetings, Grapple fans. It's Chikara founder Mike Quackenbush with a special treat for you. With King of Trios 2018 just days away and all eyes on Easton, Pennsylvania's Palmer Center for this year's tournament, I wanted to flash back and take a look at one of my favorite bouts from King of Trios 2016. Not only does it have intergender appeal, as three women are taking on three men, but it's also got international appeal, because the lethal ladies of JWP in Japan are taking on the proletariat boar of Moldova, Ecuador's Juan Francisco de Coronado, and ex-Pakistani Prakash Sabar in this very match. the King of Trios, Leonard. We've got the United Nations Prakash Savar, who came over here and told us to tell Sean Waltman that he's gonna lead his team to the finals. The proletariat boar of Moldova and Juan Francisco Coronado taking on the UC team JWP, Command Bolshoi, Manami Katsu, and Hanako Nakamura. Very interesting contest. Both these uh, teams have already competed once this weekend. A victory here is going to lead them to at least one more match tomorrow. And uh, I was almost going to say the crowd is split surprisingly, but now they're definitely behind Team JWP here over the United Nations, who are on thin ice if you listen to Juan Francisco de Coronado. And by the way, you saw personal servants Thomas and Steve come out with Juan Francisco Coronado. Uh, earlier today at the uh, Chikara King of Trios fan conclave, there was a very, frankly, uh, humiliating, debasing contest to see who would serve as the, uh, you know, basically, the, the servants, the manservants. And there was shoe shining, and there was drink carrying, and, and literally the stepping stones for uh, Juan Francisco Coronado to get in the ring. So. I, I'm not a world traveler, Joey. I'm not really sure if that's how they do things in Ecuador, but it was very odd to see that taking place during the fan conclave. But when it comes to Juan Francisco de Coronado and his, uh, his, his gang of cronies, if you will. And uh, Prakash Sabar with the, the most blatant gimmick infringement I've ever seen, blatantly ripping off Sean Walton. Homage, homage, he'll say. It's a ripoff. Oh, Nakamori there with the big kick, and you saw her coming out with those title belts. She's a multiple-time tag team champion in JWP. And there's a leg drop by Nakamori. And now Command Bolshoi, the captain of her team, if you will. She led a team here in King of Trios back in 2012. Now hoping to have a little bit better success here with Nakamori and Katsu. And look at the size difference between these two. But I'll tell you, Joey, it's not going to be a power difference. Command Bolshoi, pound for pound, one of the strongest athletes in King of Trios. Pound for pound is one thing. Pure power, I'm going to take Pink Daddy Cool, the uh, the boar, if you will. Take a look at Command Bolshoi. All over the boar. Not stepping back, and she's given away a lot of height and a lot of weight look here. At her head just being pumped like a basketball by the board. And you, you, you wondered before about the fan conflict. You're gonna, I'm sure, see a new level of disrespect shown by the United Nations to this team JWP group. Just a slap to the face. Nothing pretty about that. 
Oh, hold on. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Command ball joy. Look at a snap the elbow with the cross arm break. But look at the power of the proletarian boar of Moldova. Now back to the cross arm breaker. And folks, you watch it at home, but if you saw the look. the preacher curl in her eyes. When she came up that first time, she was ready to rip that arm right out of the socket of the proletary bowl of Moldova. And look at the agility here. It's like watching a circus in more ways than one. As Command Bolshoi now walks across the second row. So has the knuckle lock. Juan Francisco. Uh, backing up away from Juan Francisco. Goes for the head scissors and takes over the board. Proletariat board of Moldova to the outside for Kosh Sabar to check. And that leaves one person on the apron for Team United Nations, and that's Captain Juan Francisco. And he is in no rush to get in that ring to mix it up with anyone on Team JWP. Manami Katsu, the uh, rookie making her U.S. debut this weekend. And what better way to have a U.S. debut than say to win King of Trios. But they've still got to get through United Nations here. And team captain Juan Francisco de Coronado is uh, one of the dirtiest players in the game. I would love to see Katsu just kick the smug look off the face of Juan Francisco de Coronado. That just rolls off the tongue. It certainly does. I'd like to see him mess up that greasy hair of his. That's what I'd like to see. Why is uh, de Coronado playing the referee at Larry Peace? I'm just going to call him Juan Francisco. Yeah, it's easier that way. How about that? Announcer's prerogative. He doesn't like it, he can get his own. That's a blatant handful of hair. Right in front of referee Larry Peace. Oh no, he doesn't like anybody. He has disdain for his own teammates. So what do you think he's gonna do for anyone with authority, anyone he's in the ring with? He doesn't like anyone. Just like that boot by Katsu. Manami Katsu, hey, Oh, he messed it up the bow tie! And plants Juan Francisco face first and take a look at his stomping going on. You would think Juan Francisco stole something from Team JWP the way they're putting the boots to him. Maybe they wanted to have something at the fan conclave where they got their own Well, service. you notice that Juan Francisco's teammates are not coming in to save him. They're saying we weren't tagged. Do you think maybe they're enjoying this? Oh, elbow to the small of the back. Nicely done by Katsu. You bring up an interesting point, Joe. You know, he does bully his own teammates around quite a bit. Look at the pain etched on his face as Cox is getting ready. Surfboard perhaps, locking him up. Surfboard is locked in. Right into the tabletop submission. Is Francisco gonna give it up? No. Managed to wriggle his way back to the camp. No, wait a minute, there was no tag that way either. And Sabar could stand all he could stand, but now he's the victim of a three-on-one beatdown from Team JWP. Now he's the legal man, handspring elbow there by Bolshoi. Nice kick. And a hip attack by Katsu. And a nice bulldog as well. And again, they actually got some practice recently uh, over in Japan as a trio. They're not a regular team like the United Nations are, but they did get some training, some practice, because we're getting a clubber in Joey. Six fisties, one body. Regular team, Juan Francisco de Coronado for Castabar, who's a blatant Sean Waltman ripoff and a four from Moldova. That's a regular team? In Chikara? Absolutely. Okay. Maybe I'm being pig-headed about the board. Yep, I said it. Command Bolshoi, look at this. Just like dominoes. And only so long, they had the three-on-one advantage on Prakash. They had the three-on-one advantage on Juan Francisco. But the four, so strong, so powerful, just so big, just plowed them all down. Oh, I love the chant of boring directed towards the boar. B-O-A-R-I-N-G. Nakamori up in that side slam. A little double-team offense, perhaps. Nicely done by Sabar. I think referee Larry Peace has given up on trying to get a legal man here at this point. Legal person. Cover, hook of the leg, two in. And again, according to Chikar rules, a tag can be made by simply rolling out of the ring and having both feet hit the floor. What is this? He's just dragging her around the ring by her hair. How disrespectful is that to Nakamura? 
Oh, this is what he was. Look at this. He's setting it up for his pal. Little busted Bronco action here. Holding her in place. Oh. Did you say busted Bronco? Yeah, he has the shirts that say it and everything. Did you see the... Uh, That's a Bronco service. buster. It's a blazing... Sabar is a blatant Sean Waltman ripoff. It's gimmick infringement. I'm not sure what he had in mind there, but it did not work out very well for him. He's down to the canvas, and right now, Sabar's about to give it up. Prakash Sabar, with all that pressure, pushing forward on his neck, pulling back on his arm. And the rest of Team JWP has the United Nations on hold. The man Bolshoi holding back the board. Keeping the bar in the barn, if you will. With everyone hitting to the outside, we got new legal people in there. Manani Katsu in there trying to give it as good as I'm sure she's going to get it from the floor if he gets an opportunity. Using her speed, and now with a bunch of like rabbit punches to the back of the head, there's a good strategy to take out the bigger guy. You say rabbit punches to the back of the board? Do you have a rabbit here in Chikara? We did. We had a Colt Cabani, if you're familiar with Colt Cabana. Yeah, very well. All right. Okay, Colt Cabani. Got it. That makes sense. All right, the board is wide open. And it's hunting season for Command Bolshoi. Not sure what the captain has in mind here. Little flexing. You know, she competes professionally as a bodybuilder. Did you know that, Joey? Yeah, well, she spent too much time posing and not enough time wrestling, and it cost her. And the boar is on the loose. Every time that JWP tries a two or three on one advantage against the proletariat boar of Moldova, he always is able to turn the tables. Again, that's maybe a flaw in their strategy in this contest. Juan Francisco now whipping it. Oh, shot to the back of the head of Nakamari. Look at that sick sadistic look on his face, so happy here. Setting her up, this is what he does, Joey. He's gonna focus on the back to set up for that Coronado clutch, his submission hold, or possibly the German suplex, which he is a master of. Wait, he's a master of the German suplex, he's from Ecuador. Close line, ducked! Well, it's an import-export sort of thing, I would say. Gotcha, yeah, you know, NAFTA, that sort of thing, TPP. Oh! I would say 619, I have no idea what area codes are like in Japan, I've never called there. I think it's plus zero one one, something like that. Missile drop kick from one side. Could be another missile drop kick, perhaps. Whatever it is, it doesn't bode well for Juan Francisco. Being held in place. Oh, knee strike right to the back of the head. Nicely done. Cover both legs hooked and no. That could have been a knockout blow, Joey. She had both legs hooked and Juan Francisco getting out of Don. I thought Nakamari was going to have the win, and now it's the Boru who's being set up. But I think he's too big to absorb any punishment from Bolshoi. They're trying, they're kicking him in the back of the leg. They're holding him by his arms. He's fighting. Yeah, he was not going to go down. That, that was not happening. Down goes Team JWP in a heap because of the uh, proletariat bore of Moldova. It's a what? mouthful. Double German suplex on two Japanese women. Almost led to a three count, broken up by Command Bolshoi. There's something you don't see every day. Now we got the two captains in there trading it up for Kosovar. Nice and there's the X Factor. Call it what it is. Four! 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 Command Bolshoi nearly broken in half! And Juan Francisco going for the Coronado clutch! This is gonna be all for Command Bolshoi! Set, center of the ring, Bolshoi's teammates are held at bay.